and welcome to Young Engineers Podcast. My name is Greta and I come to you from Vilnius, from capital of Lithuania, where I knit a lot. Um, as usual, it's been a month since my last podcast and I have some, as usual, I have some finished objects, some work in progress and this time I have some acquisitions or in my case, my little sins. Well, 300 grams of sins, 600 grams of sins. Quite a bit, but I'll talk about them in in a few minutes. So it's very nice to come back to you after basically a month of no news. Uh, spring is blooming here. Well, it isn't that nice because in next basically five to six days we have summer <laughs> and actually I feel really more like spring than summer but at least I tried to dress myself a little bit more summery so we can actually already start with our regular um, menu uh, finished objects work in progress since and my last month's work in progress because it became finished object and I'm wearing it. This is Aurelin top or Aurelin tee from uh, a dearly French designer Sophie Wong. So this is my version, the, the size 3 version of this top. I knitted it from Nako Serin and as you can see it fits really really nicely on me. I love it a lot and already wore a few times. Um, I go to the hair salon, to the office, and it is really nice every day's top where you know you don't need to look fancy, but this lace or Japanese stitch motif uh, adds adds something nice, something very, very cute, very womanish into the wardrobe so yeah so this is my first finished object and my what I'm wearing uh, I haven't waited it but I used more than one ball of uh, Nako Serin so it should be maybe 500 meters that's that stops because um, 100 gram ball uh, is 300 meters and as mentioned I used more than one ball so well let's say at least 500 meters no no not more and I really enjoyed this finished object maybe I would even do another one for myself or anyone in my family that that liked my version <laughs> yeah so another finished objects uh -huh, they're here so let me start from the biggest one I was not very nice I was sitting and decided hey it's the end of the month and it's my time for podcasting so I just grabbed everything from all the corners of the house and here I am so I will wait them later and maybe give you update on the next podcast or maybe add something in the you know show notes so the next one uh next finished object wasn't even in my queue last time i talked a little bit uh that's well <sighs> let me show you that ren shawl like claire has from outlander i haven't cut the it, uh, yarn left over but well that's me so um also not weighted so please see the rent shawl um from claire from outlander i learned quite a few things with this shawl i learned in Tarsia. i learned how to do this type of uh, corner because first of all you need um, from one cor corner and you are increasing all the time 
Then you're doing short rows uh, to form the, the bottom edge, this one, and then uh, using wrap, wrap and turn, let's say wrap and turn method, you pick up all your short rows and then you decrease until the next edge. So, as mentioned, I don't know how much I, weight I used of the yarn. This is cotton wool from Donegal Yarns, 50% cotton, 50% wool. And I have plenty of leftovers, which became my also a little sin. Um, when I was knitting, uh, the yarn, the fabric was a little bit itchy for me, but when I washed, when it blocked, it is quite softer. I can even use, wear it, well, I would be able to wear it, to wear it right now like this, but it's a little too warm. But um, it isn't that itchy anymore, so since one of my sins includes this type of yarn um, in other colors, so I'm quite confident to say that I will be able to wear my garment um, once it's time for it. Well, even in, in plus 20, like it is around that in Vilnius, it's quite okay. Yeah, so finished object number two. I haven't worn it. Uh, it is going to Konas to my dear friend, I hope this weekend, so I was rushing to show it to you and not sending it. So, you know, that I can brag a little bit. Why wouldn't I? And yeah, I'm quite quite happy about it. I learned a lot of things and hopefully I'll be able to include my new stuff in my future projects. Um, okay, another finished object. So finished object, so it's number three, is <laughs> hmm, how to see. Um, if you remember, uh, in, my last in my last podcast, I mentioned that uh, this top, uh, I wanted to make it from Portuguese linen. Um, I had very lovely yarn and I really enjoyed, you know, the touch for it. But uh, mistake after mistake, that linen wasn't created for this top because look at me, I'm wearing with pride in other yarn. But the linen became a random colors, but in the summer version. So I wore it to work already and I did some adjustments. Mm, first of all, I added a little bit more uh, for sleeves. So I have some, uh, some uh, stockinette stitch and the garter stitch for the ending. One by one garter. Um, and I prolonged uh, the back. Um, here you can see quite nicely the difference. I I found out that I really like um, garments with uh, prolonged back. I don't know, they suit me, they look, I don't know, I feel cute in, in them, so um, I added some extra short rows uh, on the whole back side. I think I decreased every uh, five stitches. So, you know, you don't knit five here, turn, go back, knit until last five on the needle, turn, and so on and so forth. So this became a little uh, nice prolonged back. And um, as recommended from the Ranunculus author, the same one by one uh, ribbing. And I used basically all of my Portuguese Rosario for linen. I had 200 grams and these are the bowls of leftover. I think I, I will use them for a waist yarn when I need, you know, a provisional cast on or something else. Linen should be, should work fine in this case. Yeah. I don't know why, but I'm talking so fast today. I have a coffee uh, in the cup that my very dear friend 
uh, gifted to me last year. It says uh, Knitters Greta's um, Cup. As you can see, it has um, some yarn balls, some <laughs> uh, some buttons, some already knitted garments. I really love this cup. It's it is one of my favorite, and usually I do I, I drink uh, coffee or tea out of it. So, okay, let's continue. Um, my last finished object is also by the same very nice French designer Sophie Wong. Um, uh, her Instagram name is Solines and Co. So I'll put it, of course, in the show notes so you can see her designs and maybe purchase something for her from her Ravelry store. So um, the last finished object was a test knit uh, for socks. These are, one second, let me do the, it proper way. Okay, let me introduce you uh, linen socks. Linen, really. Lily socks or Chuzette's Lily. I'm sorry, I don't speak French, so this might may not be correct. So let me show you one sock. Um, it's my version, my testing version had German short, short throws on the heel. So here, how do you look like? Uh, it has Turkish cast on method. So right here, you basically can't see where I started my knitting, well, unless you see the increases. And it has a very lovely lace motif on the front side of the uh, sock. I hope, yeah, it shows off pretty nicely. Um, what if I do it? Yeah, so uh, the lace motif goes through all sock. These are quite short socks and I think I'll keep them for the autumn because uh, right now it's already a little bit too warm for me for uh, wool socks, so I will gracefully wait for them for in the autumn. Um, I have, well, the yarn is from my dear friend Lady with a Knit. Um, I bought this yarn to knit socks for my sister. I chose the pinkiest option that she had in her store at that time. And look at me, I have socks for myself and not for my sister. But I'll try to be nice and do some socks for her as well. Or maybe I'll just get in touch, allow her to see if this one suits her and maybe this would be a gift for her. I'm not sure yet, but I really like them. I love them. I enjoyed all the time when I was knitting them. And this is the smallest and last finished object for the month of May. <sighs> mm, what can I say? I have one, actually I have only one work in progress uh, this month and it's a dress. I think I already mentioned it uh, a little bit last um, time as well. Let me show you. I'm really sorry about the color, the bleaching of me because the weather today is I don't know we have sun for five minutes then we have clouds for ten minutes and then sun for a minute and back and forth so yeah as mentioned I think I already talked a little bit about the dress it is better world dress from Kasia Osmolska I can't recognize myself at this moment. Oh, okay, so the yarn that I'm using is Yarnart Rose Garden and it's 100% cotton, 1000 meters in 250 grams. So actually I ran into con some kind of a trouble with, um, with this dress. I really, uh, really wanted to do it in this very lovely purple color, which I've started in. As you can see, I have quite a bit done. 
so it starts with a deep purple um, I should add some neckline here as well I hope I'll do it uh, quite soon because the I can already see the end of my ball so yeah I have this in my dress done it's increasing rapidly so I am pretty I'm not pretty sure I'm confident that this leftover isn't uh, even close for my dress and I need to add something else and oh well, I have this bright or very I don't know how to say it is very well this yellow is screaming to me and the beginning is also white the same as in this ball so I think once I'm done with that one I'll start from the center pole and I'll try to continue with the yellow color please tell me if they match at least a little bit yep maybe this is the best option to show you the exact colors well hopefully they match at least a little bit i don't need the full ball of it but i definitely will need to add something so i'm on the row 32 or 33 and there are i think around well at some point they start to repeat so there are uh, more than 60 i guess i haven't counted them so i can't say for sure but i still have plenty of work to do on on this one and i have my dog here there she is okay she found this a uh, new spot near near me to to take a another round of naps yeah when i'm working or we are doing not, nothing very serious at home so she's not being here and there in the sun or in the shade so yeah with with many distractions this is my only work in progress and it's only one uh for now hopefully i will uh complete this dress i don't know maybe in the next few weeks because uh, the pattern is getting uh, not so not very complicated but you know it requires um i don't know brain gymnastics to fulfill it here, here you can see how it it goes from row to row it's a free pattern so if you would like to join us you can do that this <laughs> anytime we're around only in the middle so if you crochet fast please please be our guests and and join and yeah so should i start speaking about my sins well there are two of them actually one of them is left over from the rent shawl and I counted, you know, how much yarn uh, the pattern requires because I wasn't able uh, to get the the pat the yarn mentioned in the pattern, so I had to substitute it, and that's why I chose Donegal cotton wool. And I've calculated how much do I need, you know, the yardage metrage. And everything else and well here are the leftovers of the gray one the one uh, that I used for the stripe and this is the leftover from the green part I'm pretty sure that I will use it, this yarn very dearly because I really liked how it goes. Maybe this yarn uh, will be good enough for me to do the my color works because I didn't got hands on it. And this yarn actually it sticks to each other 
pretty nicely. So when I dropped some stitches on the shawl, I had no problem to pick up and continue my work. There was no, you know, it didn't, didn't show any, um, any adjustments. <laughs> Let's see it. Yeah, and when I was purchasing this yarn, because, well, I had to purchase, I had nothing in my stash that would uh, that would be okay for my friend and for me to knit out. So I checked my make nine list and checked what kind of yarn do I have, what would I need to purchase, what can I use, what not. And you remember when last time I asked if some mink fur wool would be <laughs> okay for me. So this is, I, I guess this is a little bit more than 300 grams of sins. And this is another 300 grams of sins. And these two are for my half and half triangles wrap shawl. This color I use for my own winter ranunculus. So I have a teeny tiny bit of a leftover, but I really like this color, so I choose it as one of one of the colors for half and half. And the second one was well, I really like the name, and I I do love the shade. It's it is named amber. This one is lichen, lichen. Let's say lichen. And hopefully these two cones will become my half and half triangles wrap shawl by Pearl Soho. Many of you has, have this shawl and I want one too. I want to do the ex larger, extra large, you know, the biggest version. So given the, I don't know how to say, given the proportions from me and for, for the shawl, it should be a schlanket for me, but that's even better because I love this the stuff that I can cover myself in. And that's it for the now. Uh, what I'm dreaming to knit next? Well, me and my other friend Oshra are thinking to knit some shawls because shawls is are something very, very nicely for me. So I love knitting them and it's been a while since I've knitted my last lace shawl so hopefully for the shawl I'll be able to use some of my stash yarn because I have some balls left for you know what these kind of um, projects because I love working shawls and doing shawls so hopefully I will have one soon um, and I would like to start my training with color work once again. Now I have some of these black and green leftovers. So I'm thinking maybe I'll do the moth mittens. I don't recall the exact name, but these mittens are, or hand wrists are very popular. They have these moths motifs right here. And they use basically two colors, so I think the gray and green should look nice together. At least they look nice on the shawl. And yeah, so two upcoming projects, the shawl and the mittens. And we shall see what other things I'll think to do. And hopefully I'll be able to share them with you. So. Thank you once again for stopping by. This time it's quite a quick one because I didn't expect to film everything and, you know, just, as mentioned, grabbed everything and, you know, ta-da, here I am. Uh, I hope you will then enjoy your summer. hope you will travel a lot. Uh, in Lithuania, we have no more, basically no more restrictions to, due to COVID. So um, actually we can travel basically everywhere. And yeah, I'm looking forward to visit um, our seaside, 
uh, my relatives in Konas and I guess that's it for today. Thank you for coming. All projects, yarns and everything else I used, showed you today, I will mention in my show notes as my Instagram account as well. Uh, share, like, subscribe. And yep, yeah, thanks for stopping by again and see you at the end of June. Bye.